welcome back. It's great to see you. In the last video, we learnt about grouping. Let me show you how we can now easily calculate division with fractions. In the first video I showed you, I used counters. At Gradebusters, we give children the power to name things. Let me show you what I mean by this. This is a counter. I'm really bored of calling it counter. I'm going to give it a new name. Um, I think I'm going to call it, I know, one fifth. That's its new name, one fifth. Hello, one fifth, how'd you do? Now we know its new name, we can now move on to the next item, which is going to be with fractions. Here we go. Remember, the symbols in maths tell you what to do. They're instructions. And this symbol is telling us to get six of those things called fifths. The division symbol tells us to think about groups. What size groups are we thinking about? Well, the next symbol will tell us. Here's the instruction. Three of those things called fifths. Let's put them into groups. One, two, three. There's a group of three fifths. One, two, three. There's a group of three fifths. The equal symbol tells us to count. Now, we know we're doing division, so we're going to count the groups. Here we go. One, two. And that's why six fifths divided by three fifths equals two. In our next video that I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to take you one step further, still using the same principles I've already shown you. And we're going to be looking at algebraic division. See you in the next video.